Hey producers, Infiltrator 2.5 is here. There's some great new features, so let's dive in and take a closer look. So here we are in Infiltrator 2.5. First of all, we've got a limiter added down here in the master control box. This limiter is now going to be on by default. If you don't like that, you can of course change it in our menu and turn default limiter on off. We find this limiter has been requested a lot by the community, so we've listened to and added it. It's very, very useful, obviously, to make sure that you're not redlining. And another use is taming volume variations as you browse between different presets. It's also worth adding that for any new instances of Infiltrator that you add to a track, this limiter will be on by default. But if you open up an old project from before the update, the limiter will be off. So another new feature we've added is customizable beat divisions. So if we head to a tempo synced effects like a delay, for example, Usually you can just choose from beat divisions like 1 over 64, 32, 16. A few of you in the community wanted customizable beat divisions, which you can now do. So if you head to this cog just above the main delay wheel, you can choose each port on the delay wheel and change it to your heart's content. So let's change 1 over 8 to 1 over 9, for example. This will now appear at position 5. There we go. And let's hear an example of that. Oh, that's so wonky and organic. So another really cool update is the ability of external MIDI to trigger Infiltrator with corresponding pitch. In previous versions of Infiltrator, you could do this, but now the pitch of the MIDI produces corresponding notes in the vocoder and other pitch-based effects. Let's show you what I mean. So I've got Infiltrator open here, and I've also got some audio on track two. To me any day now, oh baby. And there's it with a very basic vocoder with no effects on. Now on track one, we've got some MIDI information which I want to send to Infiltrator. So let's make sure that that's all routing properly. Now if we head into Infiltrator, right click the frequency knob, press learn and play the audio and the MIDI together, we should see that the MIDI controls the pitch of the vocoder. And it's as easy as that, it's a super creative effect and you can use it in a ton of different ways. So as you might have already known, any MIDI mappings paired with Infiltrator can be reloaded every time you reopen your door. But with the new MIDI mappings follow preset button, custom mapping can be saved to a preset and will switch as you switch presets, allowing users to create different configurations and change them live in a performance, for example. Other than that, there's just been a bit of work under the hood for upgrades and performance and quality, so Infiltrator is sounding cleaner than ever. So that's just an overview of Infiltrator 2.5's new features. If you haven't already, go and upgrade.